This is the only road linking Umujak to the rest of the world. Since the surrounding terrain caved in, the tiny village and the far Canadian north seems even more isolated. Experts say the collapse is due to the melting of permafrost in the subsoil, a phenomenon that's accelerating as the atmosphere warms up. Climate change may be an abstract concept for many, but for the 430 residents of this Inuit village, it's a daily worry. Just across the river, there's, there used to be tons of caribous, like hundreds, but uh, there's no more, no more caribous. We can hardly see them anymore. Now the salt water is a lot warmer and the fish go deeper, uh, deeper sea. So we're getting hardly to get fish now. It's become difficult to hunt and fish. Winters are mild and summers often hot. This subarctic zone is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the planet. Lucassi, a local teacher, says his grandmother saw it coming. When I was a kid, uh, my uh, grandmother used to tell me uh, someday there will be no snow. I didn't believe uh, what she had told me, but uh, some predictions had already come true. There's still snow in the winter and the sea still freezes over for months. But with higher temperatures, the subsoil has become unstable, which makes building houses hazardous. In the past, we were building path and build the houses right away, but they were going down, you know, crack in the building. Right now, we learned that um, it is better to make a house path at least one year before they built the house on top. Life has already become harder for the Inuits, but scientists predict that ongoing climate change will make it worse still. We'll see what happens in 10, 15, 20 years. There will be more tree growth and that may have a real impact because there will be more flies and fewer small fruit available. The local population depends on small fruit a lot. The Inuits have always managed to adapt to the many changes in their environment. But climate change may be the biggest challenge yet. And nobody knows whether this time it's one change too many.